What's up guys, we're gonna try to uh, push the limit here on the Blue Eddy EV3A and see if this can handle the uh, full load washing machine. This is a full size washing machine, 4.5 cubic feet of uh, Whirlpool. Uh, it draws about 12.5 amps as you will see here in a minute. There's the model and some information and that's what we're gonna tr uh, try to do today this uh, mach washing machine has some options you can customize the spin how fast it goes the temp so we're gonna try right now at three lights see if this can handle this little machine can this power station can handle that we will find out so it will run at 52 minutes regular load this is not a quick wash And we'll see how it goes. So we gotta try to just put some detergent in here. And of course, we're gonna try to put some uh, fabric softener. Gotta keep, gotta keep it smelling good. So this, um, EB3A, just a quick overview. This is a 268 watt hour. It's at 99% right now. Spe uh, the X boost is off, so it doesn't, you know, mess up with the washing machine because this is probably gonna go over the 600 watt uh, limit on this inverter. So we're not gonna try to do that. Let's not break the appliance. So as you can see, it's just started. So what we want to try to find out is can it handle a full-size washing machine a full load and how much power it uses uh, what is the peak power it uses will it overload we will find out and it's starting to spin right now it's not growing much right now as you can see because it's just barely starting. You'll see the water going inside the detergent. So right now it's working. Uh, it looks like it's working. And as we see that, yeah, there's a bunch of flows in there in the pillow. So it's spinning at 250 watts. It's doing its uh, cycle, washing cycle right now. At 250 watts, it's handling it pretty good. No problem at all. We're down to 94%. And 41 minutes, so we're about 14 minutes done. And it's only down 6%. It's not bad so we're halfway through 30 minutes and it's still still going strong just want to show you guys how uh, real quick how fast it's spinning right now uh, this is just this is not the full spin I think this is just trying to get the ex excess water The spin is a little faster and it's drawing a little bit more. You saw it was drawing about, about 420, 430, I think, the peak that we saw. And we're only down to 86% and we're already halfway through. So just remember guys, this, this uh, washing machine draws 12.5 amps at the peak. So if you put the settings at the highest level, that's how much it draws. It doesn't necessarily mean it's drawing 12.5 12 right now. Oh, we saw a 522 right there. And it's spinning pretty fast right now. Trying to get those water uh, 
Check this water out. 564. So it's the inverter is doing pretty good. And we're almost done. It's doing its final spin. Let's see how well it does it. 527, 439, 588. Let's see if this overloads. And this will. Six hundred, six thirty, six fifty. It's doing pretty good right now. Six seventy one, seven twelve, and it bummed out, overload. So at seven twelve watts, it overloads. I guess the highest uh, spin in the washing machine it overloads. So we're gonna try to do it again. As you see here, at 66% overload. We're gonna try to reset this. Let's try it again. We're gonna change the spin to about just two, two lights, and see how well it does it. It should. My prediction is it should handle it pretty well. Four fifty. I think the highest I've seen this is about five hundred, but it's hovering around four forty, four fifty. Spinning right now. So if your washing machine has an option to slow down the final the the final spin a little bit, then it looks like this Blue Eddy EB three A will do just fine. As you see here and I think we're about done yep so we're able to finish the full cycle and we still have 54% on the battery so if you have a solar panel a good option is to have at least 200 watt plugged into this uh, blue Eddy EB3A uh, which can accept to 220 I believe then you can charge this in no time, assuming there's a good sun, and use it again. And maybe do a couple more loads. But at 54%, you can definitely do another uh, regular load. If you're doing the quick load for your washing machine, then you can probably do this many more times. Yes, it's a small battery, guys. But uh, by no means, it should be your main source of backup power. But it's a supplemental source. And it has a decent size inverter, so it was able to get the job done. I was very impressed. Uh, just one possibility of what you can do with a 600 watt inverter or with this EB3A. So this is just a quick video of to you guys uh, what you can do with this small tiny power station. Thanks for watching guys and help the channel out by subscribing. It's free and be safe out there. Have a good day.